Uh, hello guys, this is Russ. Uh, I'm gonna show you my uh, Ojama deck. This is the deck I was talking about. Uh, yeah, it's pretty solid. It took me a while to make it, but it's really good. I mean, I entered two local tournaments. It got to second place, third place. Rarely it got to fourth place because this car, this just does an OTK right away. It's a quick OTK. Um, yeah, this is like a sleeper deck. The decks that are good, but nobody makes it. Well, that I know so far. So let me begin with it. Um, I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna be um, a little clumsy. Uh, Ojama Red. This card is just pretty much the power of the deck compared to Blue because you summon this and you summon four other Ojamas. And running three is enough. Not two, not one. Three has to be enough. You cannot run two. These cards work really well. Then you have three blues. Uh, this card is the main searcher of the deck. I mean, it gets popped by battle. Um, just get two Ojama cards to your hand. Any two Ojama cards. With the, where it says Ojama, Ojama Magic, Ojama Muscle is included as well. So it's really good. Then we have the common staples for the Jamas. Three yellows, three Hawaiians, three blacks. Not racist, by the way. Um, Shining Angels. Uh, this card is really good. It has like 13 targets on the deck. Um, it gets popped, and you bring a 15 light monster in attack position or less, which could be a blue, easy blue if you don't have it in your hand. Get popped, draw two cards. Rescue Cats. Uh, this should really come for an Ojama cat. I will actually laugh, but this card has been called before an Ojama card. Be uh, I mean, Ojama cat because you summon it, pop it, bring two Ojamas, ram them into an opponent, cr or creature swap each other at Kamikaze and get four Ojama cards into your hand, just with one single rescue cat. Grandma, top tier. Then we have the spells. Um, three Ojama countries. These cards are must. You cannot run two, one. There has to be three again. Um, it switches the attack and defense position. Uh, it's like a shield and sword, but it's permanently or whatever you spell it. Um, my bad. Um, yeah, like I said, it only works when you have a face-up pajama, so it kind of sucks in a way. But it's really good because your pajama becomes a thousand, and their opponent's monster like Glads or Black Winds or, or 800, 400 attacks. Three Delta Hurricanes. This card is a must again. Not two, not one, three. Why? Because they're so darn good. Blow everything on the field. Attack for game. Your cards do not get blown. That's what is good about this. Uh, this is what makes the OTK. If you have one of these, a blue, you could work at OTK or a 2-2K. That's what I like to call it. Uh, yeah, basically, um, it's a quick play. And you activate it and you get 200 attack per each beast. So if you have 5, each Ojama will become 2,000. If you have 4, it will be 18. Creature swap, annoying. You don't want your opponent to get an Ojama. I mean, they're going to get pissed, annoyed. and Or you could creature swap your blue and kamikaze each other or kill your blue and you get the two cards. Ojama magic, 1 is enough. Uh... Trust me, this is the card that you want only the one because it fails. The reason it fails if you run two is because you won't have one of each. To activate this card, you have to have one of each. Uh, pretty much, you could just activate it, it goes to the graveyard, or use um, Ojama's Contra Effect, which is this card on Ojama card, to the, and bring an Ojama card back from the graveyard to the field, which is, I don't know, you might want to bring blue if they're dead and stuff like that. Then you have the staples, Monster Reborn. Brain Control is interesting in this deck too. Since the Ojamas intend to swarm and they have like two stars. Uh, if you could Brain Control a tuner from your opponent's side of the field. If they're dumb enough to summon just a tuner. Uh, you could sinker all of them into any monster. 8, 4. Well yeah, actually not any monster but 8, 4. Depends on the synchro monster as well. Heavy Storm, another staple. Wabakus. The Priest Girls, um, these cards are really good. They just need an attack, stop your Ojamas from getting destroyed. Uh, Common Cherry, this is the Lord of the Deck. 
not a lot of people heard of this card and if you did good you did your research um this card works really well in the Jama deck and in any normal deck it's like an alert of darkness for the deck draw two cards and remove from play a common card if you fail to do so I wouldn't like to be in that situation discard your whole hand part of average for the deck backup soldier what's good about this card is that sometimes I get red on my hand and all my Ojama cards are in the graveyard so I activate backup soldier but instead of adding them to the deck it adds to my hand and it adds three monsters with 15 attack or less normal monsters obviously and this card has saved me a lot this card is really good but running one again like I said is good enough um, basically it's set on the field you can only activate it when it's your turn so you activate it and you get two spells from your graveyard into the deck which will be obviously a delta hurricane if you ran out two delta hurricanes one ojama country and a delta hurricane so far you decide um, yeah like i said this deck will be for trade and or sold or i could sell trade just check out my wants and ask me if you want this deck i will trade this deck happily since i'm making a dark deck so yeah leave comments pm me better because it's more important if you pm me that way and yeah i could check it out really quick um thank you very much bye